Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey, here is a guest design project, guest designer project that I did for Rin Tanaka over at Designs by Rin using that water droplet stamp in the back. So this is a process video. So here we go. Show you how I made it. Really, really easy. This is less than 10 minutes. So I used the blue metallic ink of gold by Viva Color. Um, I had just gotten that blue and wanted to play with it and had a vision of raindrops and liked how my finger made things look like they were the wind was blowing on that tissue paper so I went with that so when, when I wiped off my finger with the ink of gold I had a bunch on my wipe and I thought oh I'll just rub that right on the background that I plan to use for this tag and it worked out nicely so I use my archival ink on the water droplet stamp. I'll have the link to um, exactly where you can buy that stamp at Rin's store. They're affordable and they're excellent stamps, guys. Deep etched and just leave crisp, beautiful dimensional uh, images. You guys will not be disappointed. Whether I was a guest designer for her or not, I've been ranting and raving about her stamps when I discovered them. So just good products and good stuff. So after I stamped it on, just dried it real quick. And then uh, off screen, I added with a white jelly roll, that's what I'm looking for right now, a white jelly roll pen. I just added little white highlights um, on the droplets. And if you look real close, you can see those. So to my blue background, I'm adding some orange gelato and smeared it on with my finger. Goes on like butter, love those love 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 using those in my mixed media projects any projects so just smeared it on with my finger just figuring out how I want to do my background there and those that's uh, real heavy watercolor paper that I'm using and uh, it's not the regular tag size and I wound up I wind up cutting it down and I'll show you guys how I you'll see how that came about but once I got my background down. So when you mix your colors like that, I put yellow over orange. The orange wound up on my yellow gelato. I'm rubbing it on with my fingers. See, just rub it off with your finger and rub it right on your project. Smear it right in, no problem. So there's no, you're not gonna contaminate it or anything like that, just rub it off. I add some white to get some more highlight in there. I like how that turned out. I loved that green in there and I'm just the blue is the blue is the highlight. So this is just a subtle background that's gonna complement that tissue paper. So and I got a little blob on there for my fingers, no big deal, because I knew I was gonna miss it. Just lightly spritz it with a little bit of water, take my baby white and blot it around. Cause it's just gonna be way in the background, kinda lost. But it adds some depth to it, I think. Once you put the tissue paper over it took a while to dry so I dried that real good and I used some decoupage just to um, put my tissue paper on there and you notice the white highlights on there it really makes it pop it adds a lot to it when you stamp it over a colored background you'll need to do that you don't need to but I just think it looks way better so just adding the tissue paper there and putting the decoupage right over it That takes a little bit of time to dry, so while that was drying, I was doing the other elements of the tag that I wanted to do. And my, oof, sorry about that, guys. My video, my memory got cut out, so I missed some of it. So that is the edge. Um, we're looking at it, and it's the left side, okay? But it was my right side. I just cut a strip of it because it just, it was too big and it wasn't working. But I loved the orangish, reddish texture, the color that that had. And after I stamped it with a really light script stamp that I have in my stash, I wound up just cutting a strip and inking all the edges and adding a little bit of shadows on the tissue paper where it kind of goes onto the orange. And um, just put that strip on there. And I'm so glad I did that because that made like all the difference for this tag. It, without that, it just would be a little bit boring. So I loved how that worked out. So I'm putting some super gloss Mod Podge on my stamped image of the guy with the umbrella, and that's a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, a lot of you are familiar with it. It's very overused, but it just worked for this. 
and um, put several layers on him. And my vision for this was, and I knew it was about, you know, letting it rain. I live in Arizona when it rains. We all stand out in it and act like we've never seen it before. That's what people do when you live in the desert. But um, I wanted the umbrella to be not over his head. I wanted to maneuver it so that he was holding it, but he was letting the rain hit his head. So what I'm doing is just using like a stylus because it just had a point and just kind of outlining him because the Mod Podge goes over the edge, which is fine. It's no big deal. But he was on flimsy paper, but I needed that because, again, I want to maneuver that umbrella. So once I got the Mod Podge on there, Super Gloss Mod Podge on there, I could manipulate on the, that umbrella into the shape that I wanted or the angle that I wanted, which is off of his head, and then let it dry there on my non-craft, my non-stick craft sheet. So, and then I add multiple layers to him. So he's he took a long time to dry. He had to dry overnight. Very long time to dry. He's got like three or four layers of Mod Podge on him. So, and then I just used plain copy paper and just uh, printed it out on my printer. It said, let it rain, it's only water. And inked it with archival ink on the edges. And I just cut it, you know, you don't have to be all absolutely precise, you know, just eyeball it. This is supposed to be fun. Create stuff and have a good time with it. Don't stress over it, just do it. So in there I'm getting my archival link and I very, very quickly just hit the edges of that after I cut a little more off. <laughs> so And also um, I use the archival link to um, ink the edges of the tag. Always do that. I always do that because it just finishes it off so nicely. And I love how simple this is. There's very few elements to it, but it sure has so much depth, I think. I couldn't poke a hole in it and put a ribbon in it because I liked how it turned out so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Looks like I just castrated the poor guy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for my guys who are watching. Ignore this. But what I'm doing is cutting off the, um, the glossy... The not the glossy. Yeah, the super gloss Mod Podge that kind of oozed over between his legs. So I just cut that out. And it'll do that on things. And once it dries, you just cut it and trim it off. It's real simple. So there he is. He's letting the rain hit on his head. And I'm just fussing with how I'm going to lay that out. So, and there I am with my Aliens Tacky Quick Dry Glue. Really like that glue. I love how quick it is because I am the most impatient crafter ever. But notice how I don't have to fight with it because it's not clogged. All you got to do, guys, all you got to do, wipe it with a baby wipe and clear that nozzle. Just squeeze it one time. But wiping it with a baby wipe is makes all the difference. It literally takes seconds and then you don't have to fight with your glue. I did a video on how to never, ever, ever fight with your glossy accents again. Got to check that out. It's like just a couple minutes. You literally just squeeze, wipe with a baby wipe, done. After you put the lid on, of course. But, and look, I put the lid on, what, whoops, don't do that. Wipe it off first, and then you put the lid on. And then you never fight with it. So, so there I'm just smearing the glue to have it nice and even. I want them stuck down there real good. And there he goes. Again, he was still a little tacky from the multiple layers of super gloss Mod Podge that I put on him. But I loved it because it made him look wet. That's how I wanted him to look. He looks like he's soaking wet and all glossy. Water in the background. Loved it. I hope you guys like it too. Very, very simple and really highlights those gorgeous stamps that she has. It's a little blurred there, but I'm showing you the shimmer. But there it is in the stills. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and share the video if you liked it. Appreciate all your comments and all your support. Thanks again.